Hi guys, welcome to Thursday and Friday's lesson here uh, for AP Online. And on Wednesday, yesterday we had a little bit more of a review of period three. Today we are back into the Cold War. On Tuesday, we looked at the origins of the Cold War and we looked at this new policy called containment and we looked at containment in Europe, culminating with the Ber Marshall Plan, Berlin Airlift, formation of NATO. Now we go on to Asia, right? And uh, the focus of today's lesson is the Korean War, but I asked you to read a really short article and I went with the Wikipedia page because everything else was so long, okay? But you need to understand the context for the fall of China. Now, maybe you got that on Rural Cultures last year. I don't know if that was part of the Latin American project or not. You can check your note card. Um, but in case that was missing anywhere, I want you to make to understand why the, <coughs> excuse me, the fall of China was such a big deal. It was devastating, right? Half a billion people now sag under the red yoke. And it was a disaster. So in June of 1950, when Uncle Joe Stalin gives the thumbs up for North Korea to invade South Korea, Harry Truman's gonna make a stand. Um, so here's what I picked, because this is a really big deal. You know, Korea's, leg Korea's legacy is the forgotten war. It's not, you're not taking a push and you're gonna have Korea be the forgotten war. It's a really big deal. Um, and what I want you to focus on is, in the, 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 the prompt you're writing is, how does the Korean War fit into the context of the Cold War, right? It's not just like a standalone incident, right? Um, it, is a, it is a manifestation of the Cold War and of containment. So originally, like, I had this, this, this sheet with this, this video, and it was cut up, and it asked you a bunch of questions, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to like that. So on YouTube... Uh, is from 1998 CNN series, The Cold War. It's awesome. It's awesome. You can sit down and watch all 25 episodes. It's narrated by Kenneth Branagh. That's right, Henry V. Once more into the breach, right? Band of Brothers, all that great stuff. Kenneth Branagh narrates it. And um, it's it's uh, a, a really good explanation. I mean, it just walks you through step by step. It's the best thing out there. And they also gave you, it would shortchange you, right? Um, and the footage is really good. Like I want you to see it and I didn't want to go through and just give you questions. So it's a two day assignment because it's like a 45 minute video. So break it up, watch part now, watch part Friday, however you choose to do it. And remember as you're watching it, what you're writing 250 words on one paragraph, topic sentence, evidence analysis, make sure you use specific evidence from the film. I've seen this a million times. I, I can recite it to you in my sleep. So make sure that you're using specific evidence from the video to show, hey, like, what do we want to get out of this? Okay, the 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 Cold War turns hot, right? Um, the Korean War is it's it's devastating. It's beyond devastating, and certainly, if you've got a pulse, you understand the long term consequences of you know North Korea still being one of the few communist countries that are out there. So, as you watch this forty five minute video over the course of these two days, you're doing a short writing. Um, that you'll be submitting through the, you know, create a Google Doc, submit it through the Google Classroom, in which, again, as you watch the video, how does this event, the Korean War, fit into the context of the Cold War? All right, enjoy, guys.